Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be the ninth Excel 2013 tutorial and today's topic is going to be on how to import data into Excel and I'm going to walk through a couple text file examples and a CSV file example. I wanted to point out my website is www.10minutetrain.com and here's some other links that may be of interest to you including the YouTube channel and finally all of these tutorials they will be posted on the website and they will all be, always be posted for free. So what I've done here is I have a blank spreadsheet and I have a couple of text files down here. You see I have one text file where all the data is separated by commas and you can see like first name comma, last name comma, quarter one sales comma, and then all, all of the individual um, salespeople's data is listed here um, by line. And so this is the title row here. Um, the other thing I've done is I've created a text file um, that's based on space rather than a comma and I'm going to show you how to differentiate between the two. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. There's two ways to do this. One is I can just open the file and import it or I can go into data and import get external data from a text file in this case. But as you can see there's numerous ways, numerous types of data uh, to import. Uh, including from an access database, from a web, from text files, or from other sources, so like from SQL data or from XML data as examples. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go in and show you how to open up a page, uh, open up a text file and bring it into Excel. So I'm going to go File, Open, and now I'm going to go in here and I am going to go into my computer and then I'm going to go into a recent folder or you can just browse to where it's at so I know it's in this folder and here we're going to do the one with commas so I'm going to highlight that file and I am going to say open okay now you can see it defaults to fix width well we want it to be delimited meaning there's some character that separates the data values so I'm going to say delimited click next and it's not a tab so we're going to uncheck a tab in this case it's commas so we're going to click comma and you can see what happens is it changes all the data and puts it in nice columns I'm going to come back and do one another example in a minute with a space so I'm going to go ahead and click next and in this case I'm going to leave everything as the general format but if you need wanted to customize or modify the formatting this is how you would do it here. You change the column data format when when selecting it, or you could go into advanced, for example, if you wanted to convert values from one type to another or something like that. So I'm going to click finish, and there you've got a nice neat spreadsheet, first name, last name, sales data, users, and now what you would do is, this is a text file right now still, so what you want to do is go file, save as, save it as an Excel file in order to have all the Excel capabilities for manipulating that data and pulling reports on it or whatever you're trying to do. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and open up a new spreadsheet, blank workbook, and here's my new blank workbook. So this time I want to show you how to import it from going to data on the on the ribbon, and then in this case it's a text file, so we're going to say from text, and this time we're going to choose the text file that's separated by space, and I'm going to say import, or select it, I'm going to choose delimited and now I'm going to get to this this page and it's not separated by tab, it's not separated by semicolon, it's separated by space and there you can see it's in nice neat format I'm going to go ahead and say finish I'm going to put it into A1 and there you have a nice clean report alright so the same thing now you're going to save it as an Excel file so I'm going to do one more thing here I'm going to go ahead and do a file I'm going to create a new workbook again. Okay, so now what I want to do is I've saved Yahoo stock history data for several years. And now I want to import that into Excel so I can go to data. And in this case, I am going to choose um, from text again. You can see that it in the text files it also defaults to .csv file, which are common delimited files. So in this case, I'm going to pull in the Yahoo stock history. I'm going to say import. In this case, it is delimited. And then we go to the next tab, 
and you can see it's by commas so I'm going to go ahead and click comma and there you see you have the date open high low close um, for several years I'm going to say next and I'm going to leave all the default formats and I'm going to say OK and import that data and now you can see I've got from 2014 if I scroll way way down I go all the way down to 2007 so that's what I want to share with you today and thanks for joining and please subscribe take care